Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of June. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, but if not, then simply check back with me in the, uh, in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Okay, so here's what we have in our overall energies. We have the magician in the upright position um, and we have faith in the reverse. So, well, the magician, let's begin there. He's the conjurer, you know. He is the one who can transform the world at his feet. So, and he has all of the, um, all of the elements at his fingertips for success. He has the coin for possessions, the sword for thought, the cup for feelings, and the baton for desire. Um, and I feel what I get here is that you have all of the tools to manifest what you desire. But with faith coming up next in the reverse, tells me that you may not believe that you can do it. So um, you're lacking faith and the belief that you can actually accomplish what you desire. And if I go to uh, this moon card over here, because we know you, you deeply desire to manifest this, um, but it's like there's, there's negative thought, thoughts uh, going on in the mind that interrupt the manifestation, you know, um, because it's like uh, we imagine a specific outcome um, but it, it would rarely be that way. So it's like this thought, so, okay, well, I really would like to go there. That's the place I desire to go. And this is how I imagine it to be. But, you know, it's, it's likely it's, it's not going to be that way. So you're already talking yourself um, out of it, you know, or, or casting doubt uh, upon yourself and in order to manifest it you need to believe beyond a doubt you know beyond all you have to believe if there's just that little uh, bit of doubt in there it, it won't work right because if you don't believe you can do something you probably won't take action on it you'll say why bother So we have the Ten of Cups, and again, it's like, okay, I really, really want this happily ever after, but, you know, there were issues. Things were not as they appeared to be, um, and there's doubt here, I feel, as to whether you can work through them or not, um, because you don't know how the other person actually feels. I think that there's a lot of doubt with regards to the other person's feelings. Um, there's past experiences that are affecting your belief system because it appears as though you've been uh, here before, possibly with this person. And you've tried several different times, most likely with this person, and it never worked. And it's been heartbreaking. Because it, it appears as though you're going to get another opportunity. What you need to know is you need to take a different route to the goal. You need to, to, to have faith because you're already talking yourself out of this meeting or this reunion. 
you know, leaving a heartbreaking situation behind. Um, if I extend my hand to this person, more than likely, they're they're not going to. Um, uh, they're either not going to stick around or they're going to betray me again. So we have a new plan. We have somebody coming back and I feel like it's been some time since you've heard from this person, but there is news. Um, and there is a transformation happening here. This news transforms your situation but the transformation at this point is not complete and for a lot of you it may not have even begun yet you know uh, because I'm doing this reading now and this points to something in the future but what I see in the now is that it is something you desire. It is something you dream of and wish for. What we have in the future is a chance to escape a heartbreaking situation. A very deep, this is somebody you share a very deep connection with and you must decide should I or shouldn't I when you get that offer you see it, it, it it's coming there they are extending the offer and here you are should I shouldn't I what if I get hurt what if this is a, a plan uh, or a planned deception what if they have bad intentions So a very uh, difficult, uh, a very emotional choice is coming up for you. Can we work through these issues? Here we see the opportunity coming in. So this is something that is yet to come. Everything I'm talking about here. This will happen. Um, it happens within an eight. The news has not yet arrived. It does come in unexpected. And then uh, there will be, uh, it, it will move to uh, a lot of messages going back and forth. But you haven't gotten the initial message. You have not received that yet. You have, uh, these messages um, can bring you to that peace and harmony, but you may not be seeing it because you're focused on a past event, something you haven't healed from. But whatever it is you're thinking, it's not as bad as you as you think it is we have these this person down in the dumps woe is me um maybe thinking that person is wearing two faces maybe thinking um i'm worrying worrying a lot of worry about the future uh with this with this ten of swords about um you know uh, an uh, unwelcome surprises, not really wanting any unwelcome surprises. You know, I, I've been through enough. I'm still hurting. But yet you have the sun here and you're not seeing it. It's on your back. You're turned away from it. You're looking down in the, in, in the cup. And so um, we have this again, Ten of Swords, and it's why you're in this energy of woe is me, you know, um, because, because it is or ended perhaps very badly with somebody feeling betrayed, 
you know, and maybe there was with this person a series of disappointments. But, okay, so he faces out this way, but behind him where he's not looking is hope. Hope. If he would but um, recognize, I feel like this is somebody who has made a mistake. Okay. And, um, and may actually recognize the mistake, but it, it's somebody who, again, woe is me. Oh, it's too late. It's too late to fix things. We'll never be able to work through these issues. This is somebody having very dark thoughts. And yet, um, this card says that beneath the, the darkest thoughts, there is a ray of hope. And it is coming. And that dark figure represents help hope and a chance yeah the situation does look pretty bad but there is still a chance to find a positive solution if he would but turn his head and look look towards hope look towards faith, you know, turn it back up. There is a solution, a way to escape this energy, if you would but trust it, have faith in it. Three of Wands and this card of justice here. Um, so the Three of Wands is um, looking to the future um, in anticipation and hope that the journey is going to bear fruit, you know, that the effort has not been wasted. It's about careful planning and waiting patiently. So somebody's looking at the coin, maybe not exactly trusting it. Here's the offer here. It will require patience, strength, courage, because somebody may be feeling like a victim. But it feels like they decide to, uh, with this Three of Wands, it's, it's like kind of um, waiting patiently on results is what it is. Okay. And this Justice card, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, you don't see what I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll show it to you. So this justice card, um, it's like, uh, how would I say that? It's like um, putting a decision off for um, later. Oh, my light just went out. <laughs> Is that interesting? <laughs> interesting. Okay, so um, putting a, a decision off uh, for a later date, waiting on a truth okay that's what he's doing waiting on the results waiting on that truth and here comes the cup you got that ace of cups and you have the wheel of fortune and you have the sun. Things are not as bad as what you're imagining them to be. You or them, whoever's energy this is. There is love here. There is the opportunity for love here. You need to go with the flow, with the wheel. Because it will bring you to the sun.
that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.